Friend, this is a very critical show for us because today I am going to discuss for the first time publicly on this program the fact that we recently received what can only be viewed as a death threat. And we take it seriously. I will tell you more about it in a minute. But irony of ironies, just as we were preparing to let the world know what had happened to us, two Islamic terrorists were shot dead in Garland, Texas. I'm sure by now you know that there was a competition going on for who could draw the best cartoon about Mohammed. Well, what you may not know is that Gert Wilders, who is a Dutch parliamentarian, he's elected to the Parliament of Holland, he was speaking in the building, in the community center. And just after he was finished, the men pulled up and started firing. Well, rather than rehash some things that you already know, I thought it would be in your interest to watch some footage taken by a, a user of YouTube, if my memory is correct. He wants this video seen far and wide, and we're going to give him an opportunity to show his work and for you to hear for yourself about three minutes of what Gert Wilders was saying. Because I'm certain of one thing, the secular media in America are not going to give this man the time that he deserves. And please know that he has had many death threats against him. There was a large police presence there, which is fortunate because they were able to kill these Islamic terrorists before they killed anyone else. Let's watch Mr. Gert Wilders. As a matter of fact, we have weak leaders. Weak leaders, appeasers, are ruling the Netherlands, Europe, and if I may say so, even the United States of America. We sent a clear message to President Obama and all his colleagues. We will never submit. We are not intimidated by Islam. And sure, we will not be, we will not be picking up swords and axes and breaking into people's homes. But we will not, we will not remain silent either. Moderation, moderation in the face of evil is evil itself. And this is not what our age needs. We must uncap our pants. We must speak words of truth. We are facing, unfortunately, an enemy who is striving through all means to destroy the West and snuff out our traditions of free thought, free speech, and our Judeo-Christian values. And my friends, make no mistake. If we fail, we will be enslaved. So the only option, the only option we have is to defend our freedom with all the energy we have. It is time to be brave. It is time to do our duty. The Islamic creed obliges one and a half billion people around the world to take Mohammed as their example. And you know, Mohammed led a gang of robbers who looted, who raped, who killed thousands of people. And historic sources describe orgies of inhumanity. And an example is the genocide of the Jews of Medina in the year 627. And one of the head choppers himself was Mohammed. Mohammed himself confronted with the lunacy of the Islamic terrorists that we see today on our television screens, every day, it is not hard to find out whom they get their inspiration from. It was Mohammed who, as a matter of fact, and we have to be honest and tell the truth, was a warlord, a murderer, and a pedophile. Others Then they can do whatever they wish unopposed, and dissent is impossible. And that's what this is all about. This is not about insulting Muslims or offending Muslims or poking them in the eye or even about drawing Muhammad. Ultimately, it's just that that's where they are making the line and that's where we're going to stand. And we're going to stand against tyranny and for freedom. Well, you can see why he is so hated. 
and I'm going to tell you this before I take a break. Nothing he said is untrue. He is strident, clearly. He is incendiary somewhat, in some people's eyes at least, in other people's eyes, he's heroic. But the bottom line is what he is saying is true according to ancient Islamic texts. I'm going to take a break, and when we come back, I will tell you about the death threat that we have recently received, and I will ask you to stand with us in prayer and help us to quickly pay for some security measures that we need here for our studio and also at our homes where we and various staff members live. Please pray for us. Please stay with me. I'll be right back. Hey, everyone's been asking me, when's Unstoppable coming out on DVD? Well, it's here. And I have created my own deluxe signature version of Unstoppable that contains not only the movie, but over five hours of additional curriculum and study guides for your family. It's perfect for your homeschool, educational facility, small group Bible study, and family devotions. And I'm going to share with you some of the spiritual warfare that surrounded the release of this film. This box set also includes extended scenes, new music videos, the inside scoop on the whole Facebook controversy. So what are you waiting for? I made this special version with my family in mind, and I know your family will be blessed by it too. Unstoppable 2.0 Deluxe Signature Version, available only here at KurtCameron.com. I can't wait for you to experience what's inside.